Right, obviously, tough loss. Um, had our chances to win. Um, just uh, didn't, didn't make enough plays. Didn't play well enough uh, defensively, and then couldn't make the plays at the end offensively to uh, to win the game in overtime. So uh, disappointing, um, and uh, something that we certainly have to learn from. So I'll take your questions. What did you think of Illinois' offensive game plan and your guys' ability to adjust to it? Uh, we came out. We you know we, we predicted that they'd come out and be spread no huddle like they were. Um, you know, in the second half, you know, they really, uh, they, they, you know, for a long time, it was like, I think at halftime, they had 31 yards rushing. I think in the second in the second half, they ran for over 100 yards. So they just, they just uh, kind of did what they did last week. You know, well, we didn't seem to be the more physical team. You know, we, we did win the turnover battle today. You know, the defense took the ball away twice, but, um, but uh, didn't, uh, couldn't get off the field. You know, I thought we had a really hot offense there for a while and just uh, would have loved to have gotten the ball a little bit more. They just sat for long stretches. Um, and then obviously penalties really hurt us on defense. I think there was three dra- drives with a 15-yarder, um, which is unfortunate. Okay. So you, you got third and three there at the 21. There's a couple different things you can do. You can either try to play for two downs there, or you can try for the play that you guys tried, or you can try then again on fourth down, or you can try to field. But why did you guys decide to do what you did? Obviously, it didn't work, but what was the thinking? Yeah, it was wide open, though. I mean, like, you know, yeah. it was a hell of a play Paul by Sat. And we're just trying to throw the ball to the fullback on the flat. We were doing kind of what you said, like, hey, you know we're gonna we're gonna throw you know show a run formation throw the ball full back on the flat. Dylan sees the guy. You know, I mean, Dylan's vision is amazing. He sees you know that's not really even part of the progression most times. You know, um, it's such a good play call that you know, no one's open. We just don't connect on it, and it's fourth and three at that point. And um, you know that's that's a makeable field goal. You know I felt like I felt like you know we, we would make that field goal. It looked like you know when I looked at it, you know the laces weren't turned out. I get to kick the laces, and it just wasn't made. So. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we took, kind of took the approach. It was a long, I think, long three. Like, hey, let's throw the ball to the fullback in the flat. Um, just a guy popped wide open. And, uh, you know, in a game like this, you want to win those games. I think you just have hope that you come down with that play. What was the uh, thought process behind calling all those timeouts when Illinois had the ball and they were starting to go downfield instead of letting the clock run? Uh, because, because they're – because that's the, what the book says to do. I mean, you, you're, you're going to try to call timeout so that, you know, if they do happen to score. Because either way, the clock's not a factor for them, right? Uh, they, they have, you, you have to either stop them when they get down to the 40. They can kick a field goal from about the 40, 45-yard line with that kid. So um, we're just following the book, you know, you know, to call on the timeouts so that if they, uh, if, uh, if they did score, we'd have a chance to run, go back and score again. And, um, um, you know, they, they kicked the ball down. Unfortunately, it was at the 8-yard line, so we decided to go to overtime. If we, you know, have, had it been a little further out, maybe we would have let them uh, let Dylan spin it. Hey Matt, a lot of these games kind of came down to, to a similar outcome at the end of last year. Seems like there were so many points where Turner went down and Tommy went down and Illinois bounced back. How did you see the resolve from your team tonight compared to these games last year? I thought we had good resolve last year. You know, um, t- tonight was disappointing. You know, I didn't, I didn't think we were. I, I you know last year, you know, we were, we 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 we. I don't feel like we got pushed around too much, and I felt like in the second half, you know, we're playing man to man, and we're literally playing man, and guys are. The, man, the guy that have that guy man to man, they're trying to make a play, and the guy's catching the ball. Even the play they threw to the big old lineman, we're in the ninety four number. Like you know, we, we can't let that happen, right? We had everyone, we had them stop. So, um, you know, I love our guys, and as I told them, like you know, um, you know, the, the narrative has been, hey, they're going to win all these games. My narrative has been just go one and zero every week, lock in. So we have a lot to learn from from this game, um, but I'm sure our guys will bounce back. And it was a costly night. You know, we had some big injuries. You know, Tommy, Tommy, uh, Tommy couldn't go, and then. Uh, um, uh, Turner looked like he got hurt pretty severely, so uh, Gunner went in. So we'll have to we'll have to regroup, you know, after this little short little two day thing. What was Tommy's injury? Uh, Tommy's got like a plantar fascia inflammation. You mentioned the defensive just not being able to go up the field and the costly penalty, especially for the fouls. How surprising was that with that performance based off what they've been doing? Um, yeah, it was. I mean, it was disappointing, and uh, um, I didn't. I you know. I think after last week, you know, you'd have to say that, you know, we, we really were concerned about the tackling and the tackling showed up again. It wasn't great today. You know, I mean, a lot of guys ripping at the ball as opposed to knocking the ball down. The, the penalties, you know, I'm not going to talk about the penalty. I, I you know, was, even at the end, you know, we, we got hit out of bounds. I mean, I, I have to see what happened before I can comment on them. But um, 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 you know, we hurt ourselves, you know, in a, in a day where, like, we needed somebody to make a play. And, you know, we made a play, you know, Ge- Keith's. Knock the ball out, or I think that was Keith that knocked the ball out. We recovered it. We go down. We have a chance to win the game and end the game. Um, so um, those two things were disappointing. But but yeah, defensively, we, I think we have to go back and really kind of you know look and see what we're doing and see make sure we're doing the right things with the guys that we have. 
you know, when people, they spread us out like Colorado did, but the difference was they were able to run the ball in those sets, whereas Colorado didn't run the ball. Uh, obviously, overtime went downhill right away. What was your sense of uh, just guys heading into that, that extra frame there? Really yeah, you know, um, I mean, Dylan, you know, Dylan was like, hey, <laughs> we were going to – we were going to take a shot the first play, and we false started. So we kind of just, you know, we false started, and then, um, you know, took a sack, and then, you know, even on the last one, we missed a, you know, we missed a blitz pick, we, we missed the protection, we had an MA. So, um, you know, the moment showed up, and we didn't make the plays you have to make to win those games. You know, I mean, even even the ball that you know they called a touchdown that was ended up being an interception, like you know, was, we had a lot of opportunities to win the game, and so you know, we're not a bad football team. It's a good football team. It's a ranked team, and, and we had all of our chance. We had the chances we had to win. So there's some things we have to correct, and um, you know, getting getting those moments, we have to kind of go make those play. You know, make those plays. I thought Sack called an excellent game. We had lots of chances, and I think defensively we have to go back and kind of look and see, hey, you know, are we doing the right things? What do you think about Dylan's uh, interception? Thoughts on that play? I'm sorry. What do you think about Dylan's interception? Just what happened on that play to one to Nayor? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we put it in his hands. I mean, um, you know, it's two. That's two. That's two interceptions Dylan has in the year that I think he's dropped dimes in there on really. So. Um, you know, we had the one ball that he threw the fade to Nayor in the end zone that, you know, I asked why it wasn't defensive pass interference. He said, hey, you're not going back into him enough. So we really try to emphasize that in the second half. And we made some plays on some deep balls. But uh, that, that, that went down the sideline. I mean, we ran right by him, laid it out there. I thought, you know, I thought Dylan was superb in many, many ways tonight, you know. So um, um, we had a chance to make a play. At the end of the day, you know, um, the way I look at games like this is, you know, you're, you're calling plays on offense, defense, and special teams, giving the guys a chance to go make a play. And they made a lot of plays tonight. Problems yeah. Illinois made a lot of plays. And uh, we hurt ourselves with some crucial penalties. And so um, that was that was a tough play. But we bounced back. We scored the next drive. And, um, you know, just kind of coming down the end, we you know, needed to make one more play in the fourth quarter. You know, I know that's – that's we've heard that a lot, right? But uh, that's where we are. You talked about stopping the run. Do you have any concern at this point about how much you guys are running it or how well you're running it? On offense? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the offense was much of an issue. I think, um, they, you know, they, 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 they were loading up the box. They couldn't, you know, I didn't feel like they could cover us. And so I think really the issue was, again, kind of like last week, we didn't, we didn't get the ball, you know I mean? So, um, you know, even on that last drive, we were kind of, you know, pounded away. And then, you know, just, just unfortunately didn't hit on that last play. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think uh, you know, the way Illinois plays, they put everyone in the box. We, you know, we, when we did run the ball, I thought we were efficient. Um, there'll be games where people will start to play a little different against our guys, and we'll be able to probably run the ball a little bit better um, or a little bit more. But uh, I thought, you know, I thought Sad opened it up, and we, you know, even on that drive, we threw the, you know, the deep ball to Nayor, and then the then the throw back to Tommy. I, I thought, uh, I thought we had a lot of plays in the, in the bank tonight. Hey, coach, what's your assessment of the place kicking in the special teams game? You guys had an opportunity to go up. Of course, John didn't hit it there. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, we didn't make that play. Um, we didn't make a play really on, on special teams that tilted the game for us. And I think really two plays, the punt, you know, that's that unfortunately we kicked across the field. And so they got a big return. You know, they got a return. They made, they made like one or two first downs. Then we had the penalty, right, which put the ball down in, in, the, in the red zone and they scored. So, uh, you know, really our, our uh, kicking game is just um, – it's not where we needed to be. Um, you know, Tristan was unavailable tonight. Johnny went in there, you know, made some extra points, made the early field goal. Unfortunately, we didn't make the field goal when it counted. Thanks, guys.